Hey everybody, Jason here. Today I'm going to be working on an iPhone 6S that was sent here for no backlight. The customer says, I got the phone through Apple, but I have never had it worked on by anyone. This is the first time I've ever sent it in for repair. When I first took the board out of this phone, the first thing I noticed is that all of the stickers seem to be completely original. Note I have peeled off this top sticker. Now something you will notice is that this board has what I like to call rainbow poop all over it. You see the colorful rainbow there? I'm not sure which organization that is refurbishing boards does this to these. Um, I really don't like this stuff. Uh, but this one obviously has this rainbow poop all over it. So right away, I realized that, hey, this is a refurbished board, but, you know, whatever. It, it, it looks you know, it looks kind of bad to the naked eye, right? So here's what this looks like under the microscope. This board is just literally coated in this stuff, and it, it, it like, it wrinkles up, and I don't know, what is it? Is it flux? No. If you are a viewer of this channel and you know what this stuff is, please comment below because I, I would like to know what this stuff is because it, it, it's, it's really, really, really nasty. Now, one other thing that I noticed about this board is that we seemingly have solder swelled all over the place. There's, there's solder swelled everywhere. We've got bridges under here. Uh, this is classic for a, a board that has had hot air used on it. And I'm looking at this going... Hmm, this looks really fishy. So here we are looking under the CPU shield, and one thing that you will immediately notice is that this CPU does not have any underfill around it. It is completely carved around. Whoever did this is really, really, really skilled. However, it they it's got a lot of blobs of solder and stuff sort of left all over the place. And then right over here by uh, one of our backlight coils, we've got a little squeezy blob coming out here and shorting, looks like shorting to ground. Will this come off of here? Eh, it's, it's, that, that's probably not related. I mean, although it looks like it, that, that was just sitting there, so that's not going to be related. Now let's go ahead and tip this board up on its side and have a good look at the balls under the CPU. We've got some CPU ballage. Now you will see that uh, that stuff that they like spray or dip this in has made that like pulley pattern, spiderweb looking pattern even on the side of the CPU there. And I'm not sure, but it looks like this board may be going and undergoing a bend right across here. I think that contributes to some of these iPhone 6S backlight failures. I know it contrib contributes to this C2024 or whatever, it, whatever this big backlight cap is. I know that contributes to this thing failing. I suspect that this is going to be a driver failure. Now, I have taken, uh, I have checked to make sure it was not the filter. There's really no reason for a coil just to go bad. So I'm thinking we may have either a diode that has came unsoldered or the driver's bad. And this, or not bad, but the driver's most likely detached. So I have ran into this before. However, this is the first time that I've ran into an Apple refurb that I believe uh, has had the, well, I know it has had the CPU replaced, but I believe that this was actually an Apple refurbishment job. I mean, this has been replaced. Come on. What's the NAND look like? Is Apple, un is Apple doing iCloud unlocks? No. You know why? Because they don't need to. They can just change a couple of numbers. Apple don't need to resolder half of the freaking planet to get rid of iCloud. <sighs> I'm going to try to fix it. It boots without backlight. Diode mode readings out to the connector are good. I believe this is going to be the driver. So let's get this strapped into a board holder. Let's get that solder out of there. We don't need that there down, do we? Let's set this right in here like this. I'm going to try to get the CPU over the dense part. Let's try really hard not to float the CPU, shall we? You think they did it with uh, low melt? You know, what sort of alloys under that CPU? I gotta tell you, this is a scary repair because, you know, I don't know what they did. Like, I know it boots. Let's have the CPU replaced. It boots. So cool. Let's see if I can fix backlight. Here we are looking at the backlight area of the PCB under the microscope. And it, I mean, as you can see, this thing just looks like this board really doesn't look good. It's got little blobby solder squeezy stuff going on. And it's got this, it's, it's got this rainbow poop all over it. I'm going to go ahead and lay us a shield on the CPU. So let's start warming this up to temp. And I'm going to use one of my favorite underfill cleaning removal tools here. I believe these came from, this one came from Union Repair. It may have been Qian Li or Qian Li. Now the links to all the tools that I use for these repairs are in the description. Crap! My uh, uh, board holder failed, guys. Okay, let's move this around a little bit. Don't fail me, board holder! No! So let's continue to remove this goop. 
Now we want to be very careful not to screw up the strobe driver, which is right here. Good golly, what is this stuff they dip them in? There we are. Now I'm going to take my X-Acto blade and I'm going to start bringing this up to temp. Now I want this to come off the board at the very earliest point. Okay, so we're going to start warming this up and I'm going to start poking around at it with my X-Acto blade. How did I miss that spot? All right, so now I'm going to stick my X-Acto blade under it and we're going to start warming this up until I feel like the solder is melting. And we're trying not to float the strobe driver here that is just beyond. There we go. I sort of lifted that pad up right there, so let's be careful with that one. A lot of this stuff really is about a dainty control of heat. I mean, at the, the very earliest moment, because, I mean, seriously, I'm trying to float this little chip here without floating this little chip here. And the distance between them is like, the, I mean, a little bigger than the tip of a toothpick. And I'm doing it with a hot air nozzle that is pretty small, but I mean, still, it's huge compared to our, our the distances that are at hand here. All right, so we're gonna clean this, oops. Oh, come on. No, I'm trying to record a video. I'm just gonna bridge of solder. No solder bridges. Um, I got to do the no solder bridge dance before every repair. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, let's shine these up over here. Somebody needs to tell my nerves that I'm not recording a video today. All right, so I think that's pretty good. I want to make sure that there's nothing that's going to prevent the IC that I'm going to put on here from falling into place. So let's trim around this a little better now that we got that goofy chip out of the way. I'm going to continue to keep the board hot. And I'm just sort of lifting and carving out this nasty glue. And I'm trying really hard to do it without breaking the diode or anything because I'm reasonably confident that this one is a driver issue. And if I can do this without disturbing anything else, then I can slap a driver on here. And then I won't have to eat out of the trash can. I think we've just about left us a nice spot here for the new chip to sit down in. Now we're going to wipe this down with alcohol and see what this looks like. Hopefully it looks a little better than it does now because this looks like hell. This whole board looks like hell. I just, you know, I, I don't believe this guy's lying to me. He don't have a reason to lie to me unless he's one of these dudes that's going to try to pin, you know, everything all on one guy. I know plenty of people like that. I think we all do, right? <laughs> you probably got a list of them hanging by your front counter. All right, so we're not quite there yet on this. I'd like for this to be trimmed back a little farther. That's not exactly what I want to see. Let's let's continue to keep this hot. There we go. Now, now we've got us a nice square there. And now we are ready for a brand spanking new chestnut IC. I'm just kidding. We're actually going to reball this one. This is the chestnut IC off of an iPhone 7. Have I been saying chestnut through this whole video? Backlight driver, okay, U4020, iPhone 6S, backlight driver. <laughs> Since it's actually from a newer phone, that means I can charge like an extra 300 bucks for the repair because I'm using a, a newer chip on it. So let's go ahead and take this chip off the board here. Let's lay this chip down into reballing station B here. I'm going to add some flux. And then I'm going to take a blob of leaded solder on my FM2032 micro pencil with the 0.1 millimeter conical tip. Link's in the description. And I'm going to use this to sort of mop away all of the... Almost all of the uh, um, garbage lead-free solder. Let's do that once more. Make it look nice and pretty. Now we're going to clean that crap off. We're going to put some nice shiny new balls on it. We're going to drop this IC onto our customer's mutilated looking board. And we're going to see if she boots with backlight. And then I can, then I can afford to eat cheeseburgers. All right, so let's slap some brand spanking new balls on this thing. Oh, the cute little teeny tiny balls. Oh, the itty bitty 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 bitty, bitty balls. And here we go. Let's start warming this up. Pop 
pop it out of there and you know I'm not going to I'm not going to center the balls this time because it looks uh, it looks pretty well good to go. We're just going to sit that right on the board. I'm going to take a baby amount of flux. Oh my gosh, I got a huge blob. Okay. Let's try to get a baby amount of flux on here cuz we don't want the chip bouncing around. That's plenty of flux. And we're going to begin to heat this up with hot air. Now, because the solder that I have on this IC is leaded and everything on the board is lead free, the IC will actually melt before everything else around it. So now we're in a little bit of comfort zone. Let's go ahead and float this onto the board. Soon we'll see the flux under this chip start to bubble out. There we go. And this chip will slowly settle down into place. Oops, there we go. I nudged it a little hard, but there we go. Let's see if we got backlight. It was booting before, so let's get this out of the board holder. We've got it in a housing. Let's go ahead and connect the DC power supply. And let's go ahead and turn the supply on, being very cautious about our amperage. Okay, we're not drawing any power. That's a major bonus. Now, drum roll please. We're gonna push the power button and one, two, three, click. 70 milliamps, 80, this is good so far. 140, backlight, Ooh, baby. So now the phone is booting. Boy, I don't know, we're still, oh, there it goes. It booted. Yay, it booted, it has working touch. All right guys, the last thing that I'm gonna do to this board is I'm gonna send it off to the cleaner and I'm gonna get it cleaned up real good. Now after these boards have been refurbished by Apple, you really wanna give them a good proper cleaning. There we go, that ought to do it. Okay, clean this thing up nice and good. We don't want, we don't want to send this thing back nasty. All right, so now that this board has had a nice thorough cleaning, I'm gonna go ahead and put the shield back on it. Since I have rinsed away a lot of the flux, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some of my own flux out here to areas that I can reach. Just wanna make sure this solder around the outer edges flows. It's not complete until it's got the penelopes in it. Yay! So this guy's phone has been thoroughly cleaned up and it has been fully reassembled and he is going to be good to go. Anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please click the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, well, you can click thumbs down too. That's okay. And um, gosh, I will see you soon, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.